Welcome to NVMet Tutorial Part 3. In this video, we will be showing how to change and create new material in the Database Manager and how to modify plans in NVMet using Albero. Open the NVMet Headquarter and go to Data and Settings and click on DB Manager or Database Manager. In the database manager, we can see eight different types of database, one for each type. In this video, we will quickly go through all of them and explain the structure with some examples. Each database table is divided into a system part with elements out of the system database and a project or use part where new elements for the user database or project database are defined. Before we start editing our database, make sure you have selected the right project. If you have defined that this project uses a project database, you are able to edit your project database. If your project uses no project database, you are able to edit your user database. The basic elements for walls and single walls are called materials. Let's create a new material in our project database by click on the add new item icon. We are also able to structure your material within folders. You can now define a database ID left checking on the blue default value. Your ID must have six characters. You can also select a name and a new color for your material. Afterwards, you can edit the other attributes of this element. By clicking on this button on the right side, some further information about this attribute like its unit and a short description are given. Now I will be providing the values of attribute of the new material. We can use our new project material to define a new type of wall. Add a new project wall to your database you can now define the basic attributes of the new wall. By double clicking on the material, a new window opens when you can specify the components of the wall. A wall in NVMet always consists of three elements. On the left hand side, the structure of your wall is digitalized. Here you can edit the width of each element. At the bottom you can see the total width of your wall. On the right hand side all available materials are presented. You can assign them to any part of the wall by dragging and dropping. If you would like your wall to consist of only one or two elements instead of three, you can assign the same material two or three times. Let's build a wall out of our new project material and two system materials. You can also double click on system database elements to see their components and structure. Soils are the basic elements for profiles. You can create a new soil in the same way you created a new material. Profiles describe the elements which we will use in your model area to define the ground. If you create a new project database profile and double click on it, you can see that a profile consists up to 19 different soils. You can assign soils to the profile by dragging and dropping.
single walls are walls and which consists one element and described as thin structures like sun sails. After creating a new single wall, assign a material for this wall by double-clicking the element or by choosing one on the right-hand side. The Plants tab include plants with a simple vertical structure like crop or grass. In the Greening tab, you can define a new wall or roof greening like walls and profiles. You can specify the components and structure by double-clicking on the element. The Sources tab includes all sources of pollution. After creating a new element, here you can specify the pollution different molecules at each hour of the day on the right-hand side. Do not forget to save your database after you finish editing. If you save a project database, the data will be saved in the project folder. If you save a user database, you have to define the path where to save it. Now, if we want to modify the QSM plant or the 3D plants in Envimet, we have to go back to Envimet headquarter, click Data and Settings, and open Albero. Here, we can create new QSM plant or modify the existing plants in System 3D plants. But in light and student version of Envimet, we are not able to create new QSM plant. We need the paid version of Envimet to create new QSM plant, but we will still be able to modify the plants in the database in light version. Now, to modify a plant, we select a system 3D plant. To stop this rotation of this plant to modify, if we click on this icon and deselect animate display, here we can see three views YZ plane, XZ plane, and XY plane. If we select a box on the grid in XY plane and move the slider, the plane is being lifted upward. Here the green boxes indicate leaves. We can add more leaves to our plant by left clicking on any box. Here we can see that the new leaves are being added to the plant. and can remove it by clicking on the box. If we want to see the root zone of our plant, click on this icon and select show root zone and thus we will be able to see the root zone. By clicking on edit physical properties under general information, we can edit the root zone and other physical attributes like wood density. Now, to further modify this plant, we need to click on L System Editor, a new window will be created. Here, we can change the leaf code color, branch color, and blossom color. We can change the default branching angle by increasing or decreasing it. We can also change the scale factor of the plant. To further edit the plant, click on L system rule. Here we can provide algorithms for the axiom, but it is only changeable in paid version of the environment. But we are able to change the iteration depth. To save your modification, click on this icon and the plant will be modified. By this way, you are able to modify the system 3D plants. For modeling the simulation space, we need to use the system 3D plants that is provided in the system 3D plants database. We have classified these plants based on their sizes and shading characters and created a table for you to help you in your modeling.
So this is all for this part of our video. Keep watching where we will show to create the simulation file and run the simulation using NVMet Guide and NVCore.